Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more esports talk. My name is Hunter, and thank you so much for tuning in. I'll be honest, I've been a little bit groggy this morning, and no shame, I have been chugging the Rogue. I got some almond milk, I got some of that Oreo cookies and cream flavor, dumped it in there. It's literally amazing, and if you're feeling a little extra, dump a little caw on top of that inside it shake it on up and it's delicious but we're gonna get right into it we're talking about gen g versus tsm in one of the most ridiculous matches we have ever seen this was in vct stage three challengers closed qualifiers and it's the most ridiculous thing i've ever watched but that's crazy that they're trying all these insane pushing the limit strategies yeah. And, and Genji's defense is just that tight. We're gonna, having a look at a couple of the replays here. One mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah, these are some of the overtime rounds too, right? So it's not even like regulation or anything like this. This is the adjustment that TSM had on defense that kind of took Genji by surprise. It worked twice, and then they kind of stopped playing it because, yes, it probably played out its, its hand. And since then, Genji, at least since he executes, uh, that they tried to run on B, has played much more consistently, a little bit towards mid and stuff like that. Um, this is the 1v2. That is so clutch, man. So clutch for your first main event. To be fair, you know, One I feel like remaining. this Wardell that we're seeing, you haven't seen it in a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. You're probably sitting there asking me, Hunter, why are you showing this? Yeah, it looks like some difficult rounds, maybe some clutches were in there, but why is this anything special? Well, most games of Valorant end after someone reaches 13 round wins, but this game went to 44 total rounds. That's like 20 rounds of overtime. We go again, 20 we go. to 20. I've never seen those numbers there in my life. <laughs> and uh... we played 40 rounds of Valorant. <laughs> Like, what is going on? And at this point, we're going to have to take a tech pause for a quick moment. <laughs> so we get a little bit of a break of our of our heart-pounding rounds over and over and over. <laughs> Who's going to break first? We still don't know. We still oh, don't man. know. Come on, man. Nine overtimes. We played eight so far. 16 rounds of overtime, and we're not any closer to finding out who will be the victor here. Valorant devs are like, we didn't design the game to go this far. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what it looks like when it says 30-30. We've never mm -hmm. seen that before. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> genuinely, I think that I, I think that's what the tech time that was probably about right now because, <laughs> because I've seen so many situations where it's just like, okay, well. As you saw, once the score of the match was 20 to 20, they actually had to take a technical break because they had hit the 90 minute lobby glitch. That is, once a game in Valorant reaches 90 total minutes, it doesn't seem to be able to play any further. We've seen this a couple times in different instances, but this is definitely a very rare occasion where you see a match go on for this long. TSM did end up winning the game 23 to 21 comes down to this the bros with another one nature falls and there it is psm bring us to map three after a ridiculous map number two 10 overtimes finally they managed to get it done what a game honestly one of the best games of valorant i've watched and it wasn't even like it was scrappy that was just some good valorant on both sides of the game Jinji's nature did end up beating that professional match kill record that was set by asuna asuna set it at 48 and Jinji's nature ended up with 49 kills at the end of this game i will make a little asterisk a, a note here that he had eight extra rounds to do this so i would be afraid to see what asuna could do if he had eight extra rounds but nonetheless he has broken that record for right now i have to feel bad for the people that played after them in this situation right they finish that match then they go on to their third game where tsm does eventually win the series which was an incredible comeback in many situations and then luminosity and the pioneers have to play afterwards which i feel like that late i would be like guys let's just play tomorrow can we just move the match but Nonetheless, they did end up playing TSM versus NG with one of the longest matches ever in professional Valorant. Let me know what you guys think about this situation. Until next time, be safe, be smart, behave, and I'll catch you later.